David, say hi to the people. Hi to the people. You know, that's my fault. I asked for that. <laughs> you did. <laughs> you did ask for that. Well, go on. What are we doing? Um, have we talked to... We literally Aaron zoned Bonia? in here and then really? talked to the fucking kid before oh, the bridge, right. and that's it. Nice. Nice. Oh, that's right, because it took us two hours to walk five feet, even though we're insanely high-leveled. Still not sure how that happened. Yeah. I don't know. How did that happen, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, also, are we going to go yeah, check just, that house up it was, there? It was just a bunch of goblins, man. Yeah. I don't know just, why that was such a problem. Just, just some goblins. Only goblins. So I take beetles. it all those like side quests we picked up back there, we can't go back and solve until later? Uh, yeah. Okay. Are we going to go to the house up top, or are we only doing this one here? Done. Uh... Uh, what do you mean the house up top? What do you mean? There's there's a there's a fucking door up. I'm just going over there. Oh here, no, we let's talk to this guy first. Yeah, see, there we go. Welcome. Here. I've been oh, expecting you for some time now. But how? We've only just arrived. How could you possibly expect us, Mr. Obviously important to the plot? <laughs> yes, well, Bad news travels upon swift wings in these mountains. I know about your expedition from East Haven. I know why you are here. For it was I who sent for you. Uh, sorry, I'm clueless. Please explain to me. I am Arendelle, known to some as the Archduke of Kaldahar. Though I invite you to dispense with the formalities and just call me Arendelle, plain and simple. Titles tend only to serve one's own vanity and aren't really of much use in this small mountain community. Hmm, Archdruid, eh? Alright, so what's going on? How about I just call you Archie? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, uh... Like that, the Team Magma boss? Or like the run of comics where, like, Sonic's busted as fuck? No, 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 the, uh, Archie from, like, Archie comics? Like the, the blonde white kid from, like, in the 60s? Wait. That... Do I want to know? I mean, it's a pretty dated reference. Dialogue. Yes. It was I who sent Hallister to East Haven for help. His death weighs heavily upon my conscience. For not only was he a student of mine, but he was also a friend and trusted companion. He will be missed. As will Hrothgar and the other members of your expedition. I feel like this is the first time Hrothgar being gone is explicitly stated. I don't think that was mentioned in the a cut scene going across i mean it was alluded to but it also said that some people escaped you would have thought that he could have been one of those but i guess not i mean i feel like they would have mentioned rothgar died pretty explicitly if he actually did yeah. since he was like the important person yeah huh. oh, do you want to ask him about the avalanche or rothgar <coughs> uh the avalanche oh yes i know I also know that it was no accident. Someone or something did not want your party to reach Kaldahar alive. What's going on around here, old man? <laughs> yeah, I like that. Okay, I, uh, I feel like this something is the three. reason you sent for help. There are malevolent yeah. forces at work in these mountains. Forces that seek to undermine the delicate balance we druids have struggled to preserve for centuries. I feel like yeah. this is one of the few instances where a druid is, like, a big focus character. I feel like normally it ends up being the mage. Yeah, no, this is actually the only story that uh, I've seen a druid. Like an arc druid instead of, of an arc mage. Yeah. Uh, anyways, could you be a little more specific? No, oh, would that I could. The face of the evil remains hidden, but its presence is unmistakable. All about us, there are signs of its damaging influence on the balance. The unnatural weather, the recent rash of abductions, the numerous monster sightings in the pass. These all point towards something sinister. Even the animals sense something is amiss. 
You would think it would have been like especially the animals, but no, the arc druid is like even the animals, even those. Yeah. <laughs> I I shouldn't say what I almost said. You know what's funny? I only realized this guy. It it's so weird for an arch druid to be the main focus of a story. Um, the sec I it was like only the when I, my second playing through. Um, when I was like, because I played this. This was the first RPG I played when I was like, I don't know. Specifically, Icewind Dale. Eight. Yeah, specifically Icewind Dale. When I was like eight or something. This That's... is one. Of, actually, this is this is one of the reasons I learned how to read. This is uh, I usually not Baby's first RPG or book, so that's a, well, yeah. that's a first on well, both accounts. My, uh, Dad used this to bribe me. He was like, I saw him play this, and I was like, ooh, this looks cool. I want to play it. And he was like, okay, you're going to have to learn how to read if you're going to do that. And then I learned how to read like six months later, and I was like, all right, <laughs> it's time to play. And he was like, huh, all right, well, thanks. <laughs> fair's fair. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, he got me. Yeah. Uh, um well, good on you nerd but uh i didn't even realize that uh it was a druid so it was my second playthrough back when i like actually understood D D, um back in like high school um where i was like oh he's a druid not a mage oh that's cool <laughs> it's because i thought he was just a mage the whole time <laughs> you, you really would get that vibe if you didn't like honestly even if you look at like the architect architecture which is clearly very naturalistic yeah. you could still just account that to where he is or the fact that yeah. he's still a hermit type character like that is yeah, that's not a inherently lot more, druid yeah it seems a lot more like wizard tower than it seems like druid sanctuary i think more of like druid sanctuary than i think of like oh yeah that giant ass tree that spirals up that's where the druid lives i mean it would make more uh, sense if there was more stuff surrounding it and it was like a proper grove or something but when it when it's yeah. basically just his towering tree yeah because normally druids um even secluded druids will have um a flock of some sort honestly this is basically a druid tower instead of a wizard tower yeah so this is made out of a tree anyways uh, I, uh disturbances balance i don't know we should have probably asked about one of those yeah yeah i'm sure the i'm sure your viewers were really interested on why i learned how to read the story of listen the david first nobody gives a shit about played. you okay you're just yeah. here to hard carry uh <laughs> i'm here to play the hard carry yeah <laughs> No, seriously. You should probably add a you should probably add a timestamp that's like skip to this if you don't want to hear a stupid back story. Listen, <laughs> a solid thirty three percent of our viewers care, which is like solid. one out of three. But you know what? Yeah. That's thirty three percent. Anyways, which yeah. fucking option are we picking? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I I don't know which one. Which Disturbances. One I can only tell you of what little I know. Which disturbances would you have me speak of? God, the fact that there's so many. Okay, uh, unnatural weather. The weather in these mountains has always been harsh, but never like this. Fierce storms ravage the valley without warning, often lasting for several days at a time before vanishing as quickly as they come. Yeah, those are called tornadoes. It is barely midway into Leafall, and yet the pass to the south has been snowed in entirely. Weather such as this is most unnatural. Nature presents itself in cycles that are predictable by those who know what to look for. You're the Arch Druid. Fucking magic it. I don't know. Do you not have the control weather spell? Hmm. What a shitty Seems Arch Seems like that would uh, come in useful. That, right that'd now. be it... extremely useful right about literally now. Okay. Seems like an arch druid that lives up in the harsh north that is known for having storms that wipe out all life would want to, you know, be able Maybe. to stop. That. Yeah. It seems that like, would... in fact, it seems like that would be the point of a druid. To be in, in the these north. areas would be like, hey, so, you know, I can make it to where you guys can actually live here in the first place. Like, whoa, all right, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, Arendelle is clearly on the side of humanity. He's not like, you know, fuck the progress of civil civilization. I mean, he's not like gung-ho industrialization, but the dude's obviously like, yeah, I'd prefer if my species doesn't get wiped so that a bear can live. No. Anyways, disturbances. Only... Oh, yes. Terrible, terrible. 
At first, there were tales told by travelers of companions disappearing into the night, snatched up from their bedrolls as they camped along the narrow trail that winds through the pass. She said winds through the pass? What if they just got, like, knocked over? We right. do not think <laughs> much of these tales, for such occurrences are not unheard of in these mountains. Then one night, Conlon's boy, Shemish, went missing. The next morning, the whole town searched for the boy, but turned up nothing. He was just gone, vanished, without a trace. Some tavern ghost stories and a little boy lost in the mountains? Don't you think you're overreacting? The boy was just the first. Several nights later, another disappeared. Megan Potts, the local midwife. Her husband, Khalil, was grief-stricken to the point of madness. With barely a word to anyone, he snatched up his sword and marched off into the darkness after his wife. No one has heard from him since. And now, the abductions are occurring more frequently. Aiden, the old innkeeper from the Evening Shade, was taken only three days ago. Yeah, at least the husband and wife has something in common now. They're both gone. They're both missing. I know I'm a horrible person, but that was also uh, a reference, so it's okay. You must, you guys must drink a lot of milk in order to be able to put all their uh, the photos on the milk cartons thing, right? Like, man. <laughs> well, he is a druid, so he has access to a ton of cows. I can only That's tell true. You, as I'm sure you have noticed by now, there seems to be quite a few goblins about. It is not usual to see so many of their kind mm -hmm. roaming the mountains so late in the year. It is almost as something has drawn them out of their holes. Like carrion birds drawn to the scent of death. Well, I did. Yeah, it's not really the goblins that I'm concerned about. I'm concerned that I found two pit fiends. On the <laughs> and a wyvern, <laughs> and a golem, yeah. and a bone thing. Uh. Anyways, uh, actually, uh... Me and Aaron just watched Goblin Slayer, so, uh, you know, maybe just call that guy. As if yeah. the goblins weren't enough, several giants have been spotted moving through the pass in groups as large as ten. Oh, yeah, we saw them too, but they were just a cutscene, so we were fine. <laughs> that many giants traveling together in such numbers indicates they are organized and are acting with a singular purpose. I have watched their activities closely. Their tracks trace a deliberate pattern through the mountains almost as if they were on patrol i'm on patrol i'm on patrol another thing while i was out scouting the giants i discovered other sets of tracks tracks i have never encountered before what manner of beast made them i could not say i can only tell you okay. of what you little i know balance the balance it is what the druids of Kaldahar hold sacred and have worked to preserve for generations. It is all around us. It is us. Balance is the harmony that is achieved when man and nature learn to coexist, no longer contending with one another, but coming together as two parts of a whole. I gotta actually credit the voice acting in this game. It's fucking great. Yeah, right? You really, you really take, take this, this nature, nature thing, thing seriously, thing seriously don't, you? don't you? Yeah. Balance is the belief that this town is built upon, the very reason for its existence. Druids of Sylvanus, the Oak Father, have tended this shrine since the beginning. For hundreds of years, we have striven to achieve the ideal balance between man and nature. When settlers finally came to this pass, it was the Archdruid Tolben, my predecessor who laid the foundation for the relationship that led to the birth of this community. Oh, huh. Actually, I actually didn't know this. Mm. Or I don't remember it. Do you want to ask about the shrine or who Tolbin is? Uh, I guess shrine, yeah. The great oak. The massive tree that stands above us, around us. It is a holy shrine to Sylvanus, for it was he who planted its seed when Faerun was first born. It is a testament to the raw power of nature. A monument to its ability to thrive in the face of adversity. Thanks to Tolben, the great oak we druids called the Kaldahar, and the town that has come to be known by the same name, have together become a monument of even greater significance. A monument to the balance. 
Yeah, so. just out of curiosity, do uh, Druids of Sylvanus often make a happenstance of taking uh, religious artifacts, carving into them, hollowing them out, and then living in them? Because, uh... <laughs> Listen. <laughs> seems like that's remember, what you've done here. <laughs> remember, he said that we are the balance. It is us. So if Koldahar is the balance, if the Oak is the balance... Then, if he is also the balance, then frankly, I mean, honestly, he's he's just becoming even more one with the balance. He's even more balanced. He is balanced. He is, he is balanced, yeah. Tolman was the catalyst for the transformation of the shrine from a sacred grove to a thriving community in which man and nature exist as one. At first, settlers were kept away from the site. The druids of old saw outsiders as an affront to the sanctity of the tree and its sphere of benign influence. They erected thorny brambles to keep intruders out and used their powers to frighten away the men and women that came to build homes in a place they felt was obviously so close to the gods. It wasn't until the succession of Archdruid Tolben that things changed. Unlike his predecessors, he believed that the settlement of the valley was not only inevitable, but it was actually the will of Sylvanus. He also believed that we had been wrong in keeping the settlers away, and that the Oak Father had intended people to share in the miracle of the Great Oak from the beginning. So if he's the Oak Father, what are his thoughts on, like, cypress trees or something? <laughs> when finally became Archdruid, he formed a plan to fulfill the destiny of this sacred site by bringing about a union between the Great Oak Shrine and the settlers. It was this union that the Archdruid Tolman believed would achieve the harmony that we had been striving for for generations. The harmony between man and nature. As it stands, Kaldahar is a monument to this vision. I just want to take a second to shout out the English language. You can put the word for back to back and it actually functions in a sentence. The tree and town yeah. exist in a natural symbiosis where it is next to impossible to tell where one leaves off and the other begins. But now the balance is threatened. All right, so what do? I fear that if we do not soon discover the source of these disturbances, then all that we have worked for will be destroyed. The evil that has come to these mountains infects this town like a disease. As its people suffer, so does the tree suffer from the sickness that attacks the balance, corrupting it with its very presence. Already, the circle of warmth that radiates from the great oak has begun to recede. We were forced to abandon the outlying farmsteads as a result of the shrine's fading power. If we do not take action soon, I am afraid that the life-giving warmth will cease altogether. Huh. Slides on steam. Huh. Yeah, moving on. Both the Great Oak and the town, nestled within its roots, will die. This must not happen. We need your help. <laughs> no, we don't. We don't want to help him. We don't want to follow the main plot. All right, what do you need us to do? I suggest you begin by investigating the Vale of Shadows. It is a place not far from here. Darkness has always clung to the floor of the small canyon, as if the light of the sun itself were wary of the place. There are a number of ancient crypts hidden within the shadows of the Vale's narrow cliff walls. There have been rumors of the dead awakening, and emerging from their dusty tombs to walk once more amongst men. If these rumors are true, then I suspect that whatever is responsible for disturbing their slumber may be behind the other disturbances as well. Go to the Vale of Shadows, learn what you can about the happenings there, then return here and we shall discuss a course of action. Good luck and farewell. I wonder if we're gonna go kill uh, uh, Skeleton King Leoric while we're there. Yeah. All right. Okay. Hmm. I'm suspicious of your reasons for wanting to go upstairs. 
I just yeah, I know. Big sad. There's nothing to steal. Yeah, I, I just well, not steal. I just wanted to see what, what was here, and there's like literally nothing. Mm -hmm. Like and I there's mean, like a I'm weird over. round bed, and then a mat. All right. Well, uh. All right. Okay. Now we can go to the wizard's tower. Oh, you mean the one up up there? I'm on yeah. it. Yeah. Spooky sound. Yo, Nate, you can't just be standing out there like that. This background noise is fucking creepy. Oh, you want to go to that? And then oh, I thought there. this was what you were referring to. I couldn't see. It yeah, this this is the okay. tower around here. Girth, <laughs> of course. Let me see. I forget what this guy has for sale. Uh, normal supply, dude. Unless we had. Oh, that's right. Unless we had a bard in the team because uh, he sells bard stuff. He has two bard items, actually. They're actually kind of interesting. Yeah, but who plays bards? Bards are support sluts. Yeah. And we're here to frag! I don't think there's any. You can check them out. I don't think there's anything you'll find interesting there. Agreed. I guess I'll check just in case. Oh, but what is this place? This shop, friend. This is my shop, friend. I supply caravans in the shade of this great oak. This shop was my father's, and my father's before him, and it dates almost three generations back, if you can believe it. Like many of the places in Koldahar and the surrounding lands, there's much history to be found if one digs deep enough. Are uh, you a historian? Nay, I wouldn't go so far as to say that. I dabble in time's passage, perhaps, but it is not a full-time occupation, merely a hobby. I do enjoy learning more of the past and examining trinkets from around the area. I have quite a collection, a little museum of sorts. Some call it junk, but me, I call them treasures. I like the uh, implication that we're interrupting him at but being like... All right, enough talking, guy. What sort of things do you collect? <laughs> oh, I was just leaving the space open because uh, I wanted someone to appreciate that reference. Dick. Uh... Nah, I wasn't, I wasn't talking about it. Yeah, listen, that one's for the fans. Uh, mm -hmm. Keys, notes, books on the region. If you happen to come across any on your travels, I'll pay a fair sum for them to take them off your hands. Okay, so keys, oh. notes, books. Okay, so I guess we can sell him otherwise worthless shit for money. Can I purchase them back if we need them later? Of course! I purchase such things only for my own interest and to preserve the history and culture of the region. They do not end up on a rattling caravan to some... Cal words. Is I think. It? So it's Callum... Say it again? Oh, no, actually, it's Callum Sean. Callum Sean. Okay, that's what I was going to say. Mark it. That's for certain. All right, so what you got? Mummy's tea. The resulting tea can bring to the effects of disease and certain afflictions. Basically, they took uh, dead mummy wrappings and made a tea out of it, and somehow that makes a tea that uh, removes what the mummy itself would have given you. Ironically. I've yeah, noticed that's a thing. It's like an anti venom thing, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I guess that makes sense. It's just, I don't know. It's kind of a thing. Why are there bottles of wine here? Why? The fisherman isn't here for us to give them to. <laughs> do it's for when we ever, if we ever get back, we'll, uh, we'll bring the wine with us. <laughs> Even though he only takes it once? Yeah. Okay, so there's bracers. Bracers are thick bands of metal or leather that are strapped, belted, or tied to a character's forearm. They are normally used for added support and protection of the forearms and wrist areas of the body, except it has no statistics aside from weighing two, two units, I guess. Um, what is the point of wearing bracers if they're not magic, if they have no default effect? Like, non-magical helmets still protect against crits, so they still have value if it's just the standard version. A dagger, you can still stab someone with if it's not magic, but these bracers, if they're not magic, it literally doesn't say they do anything. So why have it as an option? Just 
seems weird. Hmm, uh, normal bracers can help lower your AC. It doesn't say they some do. Characters. It doesn't say you get a bonus to armor class or anything. It it, oh. it doesn't have like I'm I'm well, looking those at those might those might not. I don't know. Okay, what about the girdle? Yeah, same for the girdle. It has no statistics. It's literally just you can wear it, and that's it. It doesn't. It's an aesthetic choice. I mean, yeah, basically. I mean, I'd say the same is true for the necklaces, but I mean, it's jewelry. Jewelry is a given to only do anything if it's enchanted, but. You would think something like bracers would at least be like 1 AC or something. I don't know. Or have some effect. Fancy gems? I don't know what we could use those for. I don't know why I would want to buy a fancy gem. Oh, have been used in spells before? So maybe it's a material component we need for something no, else. No, we don't. There's no material components in this. All right. Well, I don't know why they're there. Maybe it'll be a quest item later or something. Um, so he has History of the North 1 and 2. Do you know if it's possible to, like, buy it, read it, store it in our journal, and then sell it back to him? Or is that Yeah, but it's not worth it. We'll find more of those. Okay. Uh, I don't think we need a gem. Actually curious. Do, we, do we need another gem bag? Is that... No. No? Okay. Um... I mean, at some point we might, but definitely not right now. Huh. He actually won't buy most things. He'll... He'll take the small shield, but I actually can't sell him uh, anything else. I can't sell him any of the daggers or the short bows, just the shield. Huh. We have a guy. I know there's a guy in town we can sell stuff to. So. Okay. Well, time to go, I guess. Got it. Uh, would you rather empty our inventories first or go check out Magic Man? Uh, we probably want to empty it out so we have room to buy shit in the first place. All right, let's go empty it out then. This would be kind of a waste to go to the magic guy, find something we want to get, and then, oh, can't store it anywhere, or we're one inventory worth of selling it for money short of affording it. The inscription upon this stone statue reads, In memory of the Archdruid Tolbin, founder of Koldahar. blacksmith's anvil often used to make or repair tools you know in case you uh don't, didn't know what a don't know what a yeah. Was, yeah in case you weren't sure okay i'll do this welcome stranger what can i do for you i'm interested in purchasing some weapons name's conlin i'm the local smith here in these parts if you're in need of a sharpened blade or stout mace. I'm the man to see. Best take advantage while I'm still here. While you're still here, are you going somewhere? I suppose so. With all the skullduggery that's been going on around here, I imagine I'll not be around here much longer. Oh my gosh. Did I just, <laughs> did I just hear what I think I heard? Uh, yeah, you did. <laughs> 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 oh man, I I hope that uh, whenever you're recording, caught that that that'd be pretty funny. I mean, I imagine. What did she I call mean... you? No, no, no. That's not what you you, you didn't hear it correctly then. See, I I mean, I could tell that she was calling for you. Oh no, she's just calling food out. Are you sure? It sounded like she was calling for you. She was calling for me, but she was yelling food. <laughs> <laughs> she just exclaimed the word food at food. you. Yes, in my direction. It's like a it's like a power word. Yeah. Power word food. <laughs> yeah. With all the skullduggery that's been going on around here, I imagine I'll not be be around much longer. I see. So you're planning on leaving town. Or or you're you're leaving Kaldahar? This doesn't surprise me. The town is rather dull. Perhaps I could accompany you. <laughs> uh, I'm actually tempted to say too, because I've uh What do you think? Can we try to uh <laughs> just to see? I don't know if that's a good idea though. <laughs> mm. 
I mean, I, there's a part of me that wants to hit it to see what would happen, but I also don't want to risk losing our shopkeeper. I don't think we will. I mean, I yeah, probably not. Will. But Let's see. Ha! Ah, I wish that were possible. The Southern Pass has long since been snowed in by this damnable weather that we've been having lately. Now I hear that hear tell that even the northern route to the Ten Towns has been blocked by an avalanche. Mark my words, none of us will last through this winter. We're all done for. I have no intention of dying here. What is it that you are so ready to lay lie your own grave? Um, not much for me to live for, really. My Mary passed a few years ago from the fever. Now my son's gone, mentioned, snatched out of his bed in the middle of the night. Right out from under my nose, he's just a boy. I'm sorry, Conlon. Any idea who or what took him? I knew that. You think I'd be standing around here pounding at metal? He just vanished, I tell you. Gone without a trace. Even old Arendelle couldn't find a trail. And he's got a nose for such things. I imagine whatever took him will come back for me next. Can't say it'll be unwelcome. Oh Jesus. Gosh. That is really fucking <laughs> dark, sorry. actually. I'm Though, to sorry, be fair, man. his wife and kid are both gone. So I, I don't know if I really blame the guy. Like, it's pretty understandable given the circumstances. But, Jesus Christ. You know, I have never heard this dialogue before, because the last time that this happened, uh, there was a paladin in the party that was the party leader. So the paladin would come around and be like, oh, don't worry, we'll save your problems. But I like that my character is like, yeah, this sucks. He's literally Life just sucks, like, that's man. rough, buddy. <laughs> you, you gave him the classic Zuko, that's rough, buddy, and called it that's a day. Rough, buddy, yeah. <laughs> I, I think uh, I like to. You have my sympathy, Conlin. Uh, perhaps you might show me what blades you have so I might arm myself against the likes of rogues that abducted your son. <laughs> that is that is tactical. Or, well, I'd love to talk about your missing son all day, but I came to purchase weapons. What have you got? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, I have some people at my 5th um, edition D&D table that totally wouldn't say something like that absolutely mm. not i think i'm gonna go with two yeah yeah we could sell stuff right. to him just... we don't have a bolt user right a bolt user yeah we do we have anyone that can use crossbows um i imagine the archer probably can but he's a bow right now all right i'm gonna sell these for now because we need the money more than we need the bolts I mean, does he have an actual crossbow to sell? Oh. Oh, I can't sell from your inventory? You can't sell from mine? Huh, weird. thought it was let me look at your inventory so I could sell stuff from it. I guess not. Oh, well. Well, it's fine. That's I can just bad. talk to him and sell the pointless junk. Yeah. Yeah, that's not a big deal. I just have a higher charisma. Wait, well, yeah, I can give it to you. Yeah, go ahead and uh, pass it over to the cleric. Uh, I right, uh... Here. Forties? Well, I'm gonna pass it on to the wizard, because the wizard has the charisma. Well, yeah, but I can see both inventories. Oh. Anyway, he doesn't have super anything interesting right now. He does have a short bow plus one, but I don't think we're going to be able to afford that. Dude, I th Dude, my game just lagged on trying to hand you a dagger. <laughs> nice. Um, Here, I'll I have uh, extra arrows. He has another katana. You could get another katana. It's okay, I have two. Uh, oh, here's actually something that we want. Uh, I'm going to buy an ammo belt as soon as I'm done selling stuff. Ooh, now I give it to uh, the archer who has literally yeah. a full inventory of arrows. Yeah. Um, what's the short bow plus one look like? Do you know if it's better than the composite longbow? Uh, composite longbow is tobacco plus one, damage plus two, speed factor seven. Yeah, well, we can't afford it right now either way, so it doesn't really matter. No. Did you hand me everything that we got? 
Uh, I handed you everything that is not equipped or is just an arrow. Nice. Except right. for the well, one stack of arrows I did hand you. I don't know if we can, can even sell here those. Here is an ammo belt to the archer. Oh boy. This now it's time to fill it with a thousand arrows. Ideally for holding sling bullets, darts, arrows, or bolts. Alright, well, instead of sending every stack over, I sent one arrow from every stack over. Nice. So excuse me while I do this again. <laughs> there we go. Pick that one up. All right. So there's now 1,280 stock arrows in there. <laughs> I take it when the equipped arrows run out, it'll, like, automatically equip them or something? No. Oh. I don't think so. I mean, I don't really play archers. Listen. <laughs> playing archers like <laughs> playing a point-and-click adventure, okay? <laughs> anyway, uh, unless you want to check out to see what he's got. Um, which uh... is a bunch of stuff that we can't really afford right now. Yeah, I wouldn't mind taking a look oh, just to kind of have an idea. Yeah, if there's anything you want, they'll let me buy it because uh, 22 charisma gives a pretty nice discount. I mean, he has plate mail armor. What the shit? Uh, I mean, probably want that. All right. Um, I don't think the light armor. Yeah. Hi, uh. I already have studded leather, I think, on the archer, and it doesn't look like the light armor he's got is any better than that. But the fighter only has, I think, splint, and there is plate, so if we can get plate, obvious upgrade is obvious. I already bought right. everyone a helmet previously, and I gave your cleric a shield, too. So we should be good on shields and helmets. Nice. Everyone who can wear a helmet has one, and the only one using a shield has one. So you want full plate? Uh, I mean, if you can afford plate, yeah, I want to keep looking just I in see. case. Um, heavy crossbow is a little slower than the composite longbow, but is one more Thacko. But the shortbow plus one... Actually, the shortbow does one less damage than the composite longbow, but has a faster speed factor. But I'm also, I don't really know exactly how speed factor works, so... Maybe that's like it makes you go earlier in that round, and it's roughly equivalent to an initiative-esque system. That's my guess, because I know it doesn't affect like number of attacks per round, or at least I don't think it does. Here, actually, I, I think I know how to find that out. Also, what the fuck is a composite? Yeah. Okay. So what it is is uh, speed factor. You want a lower speed factor because it's that is the amount of ticks that it takes to do something so um how many i don't like, exactly know ticks? how to, yeah and game ticks so i don't exactly know how to describe a tick i don't know exactly how long it is um but i do have a item that uh reduces all my casting times by two which is two ticks. evil spider crusher of doom dude that's that weapon's awesome just for the name Thacko, plus yeah. two, four against spiders. <laughs> Damage, 1d6 plus two, plus four against spiders. Literally just fuck spiders in particular. <sighs> Sorry, yeah, no. carry on. Fuck spiders, man. I agree with that sentiment in Dude, general. I want to know why this fucking tool over here has all these, like, magic weapons. Like, all these, like, wicked-looking magic weapons, too. Like, I mean, I'm not complaining. I just want to know, like, the fuck? Like, where did you get these? Because I don't think you made them. <laughs> I don't know. Did you make them? Did you make a plus three weapon I mean, listen, on your own maybe out he's, here? He's just so... a really good blacksmith. Also, why would we ever get shortbow plus one when he has composite longbow plus one? Like, it's just better. I mean, I guess it costs less money, but 
I don't know, I feel like if we get to the point where we're having thousands of gold and we can afford a 2250 bow, I, I feel like we can probably afford a 3750 yeah. bow. Probably. Probably. Um, obviously, we can't get any of this shit because it's way too expensive. Does he not have any two-handed swords? I saw a bunch of long swords, but... Oh, no, there's a there's a two-handed sword. Pikeman's End, Thacko, and it's a plus three sword. Okay, so there's at least one two-handed sword. And there's the black bow. So there's at least one thing for the fighter and the archer. Um, cleric and wizard don't really need weapons since they have their spells, so we're good. Um... I guess Braces of Defense don't increase your AC, they basically act as armor for those that don't have armor and set your AC to that as though you had it, so giving Braces of Defense would basically only be useful for uh, Drogo, the wizard. He does have plate plus yeah. one though, but that's a bit more expensive than just plate. So I think the only thing that we can afford right now, if your uh, no, that's not is really so, good. Uh, the... Maybe that is how it works, I don't know. I don't know how the armor class stuff calculates because I know that I have. No, I still it'll still help out your armor class to set it to base, especially if you have other stuff that um, changes armor class and doesn't set it. So you, it, it's only useful to have one item that's like armor class equals this. Well, but yeah, I but think I mean the armors say. Let me but like the splint mail that the black swordsman is wearing is armor class four. The studded leather that um, Terry Crews oh, is wearing yeah, is armor it's, class it's seven. Know, so if you if you're wearing um, j remotely decent armor, then it's gonna be the same. So it's only really good for people that can't wear armor proper, like Drogo. Yeah. Which that doesn't make it a bad item. Stuff. It just means it's it's not for the tanks. Yeah. Which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. All right. Um, well, let's move on to the next place. I take it you're not able to afford the plate. Uh, oh, yeah, let me double check that. You Sorry, you're talking to him, so I so Sorry, because I think that's the only thing that's close enough to our range. That no, we I might. can't. However, I think I can't. will be able to afford it after we visit another person. So. How far off are you? A couple hundred gold. Uh, so maybe if we can get, like, a side quest in town done, that might be enough. Maybe, yeah. Okay, where are we going next? Uh, the Wizard Tower. Oh, that's where we were going, like, way before. Yeah. You know what? Huh. Wait, stay here. Okay. Don't don't tell me you're gonna summon another pit fiend or something. Oh yeah, I'm gonna summon a pit fiend here in the middle of the Dude, wait, I <laughs> Did you free <laughs> Wild Surge, please don't kill us. The arch look, no. Terry Cruz doesn't even have full health. If you fireball our feet, you might kill him. Okay, let's go. Holy shit. I like how you cast all that to make sure you didn't blow us up. Yep. <laughs> By hasting Very us. astute of you to realize that that's why I was casting the other two spells. Listen, I, 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 I'm a wizard main, David. You forget. Would you like to ca talk to uh, the, the goblin? Gobble? No, I'd like to kill him. I'm, uh, I'm actually the goblin slayer. All right. Ah, phew. No sneak up on Weenog like that. Oh, wait, crap, that's actually an option. You can just Goblin Slayer him. <laughs> Who lives here? Surely this tower cannot belong to you. No, tower belonged to Master. We not only servant. Cleans tower, makes beds, cooks tasty food for the Master. I doubt that your food is tasty. <laughs> I don't know why. How but nice. Just... A Goblin Housekeeper. Forgive me if I don't hand you my cloak. Now, where is this Master of yours? The Master is in study. Through door. Go in if he wants to speak with the master. We not not allowed in study. Master keeps powerful magics in there. Books, papers, and wizard things that we not not understand. <laughs> we not have low intelligence score. English hard. <laughs> Thank you, we not. We not is just a normal goblin after all. I like we not. All right, let me. Oh, for a second I thought it said Garrick, but there was no A, so it was just Grick, but that's an O, it's Oric. <laughs> it's Oric, I'm dumb, ignore me. Well now, what do we have here? It's been a long time since I've had guests. My name is Oric, what brings you to my humble home? Well, I could ask about the stuff in the past, but I already know that you have nothing good to say, so I'm just going to say I'm interested in purchasing spells. 
I see. Well, you've come to the right place. I can certainly provide you with a number of useful spells for your spell book. Of course, I am only willing to offer you certain spells. I fear much of the knowledge I possess is beyond your comprehension. Oh, no, it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, it ain't. But maybe if okay. maybe if we were a normal wizard who played the game normally, yes. But you Perhaps see, in the future, there's an advanced tactic called character knowledge. importing. There's, there's only one spell, which I do not know, Oric the Grey, and I would kill you for it. It is a wish. I have yet to find a wish. You actually have, have not... every other spell. Uh, I think so. That I can get in this. Oh, actually, that's not true because you can fill up your spell book. So there's some spells that I don't have just because, like, for example, Cat's Grace. This spell magically increases a target's dexterity by uh, at random by different amounts depending on what class they are. I mean, that would be useful. I mean, increasing everyone's dex is more armor class, and for the archer, it's one also person's, accuracy. One person's. You can't cast it multiple times, assuming I mean, you had I the could, spell. But that would that would require four level two spell slots. Like, you're level 18! You have a million of those! And you have, and... like, two rings that double the spells you have of first and second level. What the shit? You have the fucking spell slots to prepare. You're over here casting <laughs> magic missile for damage when you're level 18. Like, you All shouldn't right. buff the shit out of people. Don't you <laughs> spell slots my ass. You got 20 of those some bitches. I don't even know if I have any extra sp spell slots. Actually, let me see if I do. I'm not, like, actually I'm asking right. for Cat's Grace. I'm just saying that, like... Sounds like you're asking for Cat's Grace, man. No, I'm asking for bull strength. <laughs> I'm just saying that, like, buffing in a game where you don't have concentration is fucking rad as hell. That's why I like playing DDO so much, because yeah. instead of being like, I cast Greater Invisibility, and now I can't concentrate on anything, I'm like, no, fuck that. Give me Tensors, give me Greater Invis, <laughs> give me Stone Skin, Shield, Major, I'm gonna throw everything up, and you're just not gonna fucking touch me. And it's awesome. Uh, I'm gonna give you a choice. Also, don't actually use tensors in DDO. Anyone who um actually does that um just just don't. Unless you're not a mage and a warrior, in which case scroll it and do use it. Ironically, okay. Hey, what were you saying, check dude? your guys. Check to see if they can use either one of these, and if so, you can pick one. Uh, okay. So it looks like redded out means no. Yeah. Um, that's my assumption. So. Black Swordsman cannot use Wand of Lightning, but seems to be able to use Wand of Freezing Death. And That's Terry weird, Cruz... Right. Uh, oh, here, let me go drag it to his inventory so I can check. Um, and it looks like the same goes for Terry Cruz. I wonder why. Weird. Alright, Wand of Freezing Death it is, and you can go ahead and keep it. I just give me the other one back. Okay, why don't you want it? Because I know those spells. Oh. And any situation where uh, I have uh, item anxiety, or any situation where uh, I would use it, I just cast a spell instead of using the wand because oh. you know, because item. Yeah, dude. You know I have the same fucking problem. I'm just gonna be like, yeah, but I could also just use one of my literally over a thousand arrows. Yeah. I'll have fun holding on to it for the rest of the game like I did. <laughs> dude, I don't even know how wands work in this game. Uh, like, how do I? How do I cast wands? I'm tired anyway, since we're since we're a person down, Yule. I am uh, gonna unshamefully sell my wand and buy us a bag of holding. Oh, the what unshamefully. Oh, It'll the wand of lightning. Let's rest. Yeah. I grow weary. I think we've squeezed as much out of this day as we can. I think the party's starting to complain that we're not taking a nap. Yeah, yeah, shut up. You know, can I... Does that actually have any benefit whatsoever? Yo, I think after giving her a shield, the cleric's armor class... Um, has yeah, actually... well, the cleric has a magic shield now. She has a plus one shield. Damn. So with a plus yeah. one shield, her armor class is actually the second best after Drogo the Wizard. Yep. <laughs> the actual warrior characters are uh, the worst at zero and three, which is actually still decent at least, I think. 
Yeah, let's go. Uh, let's go back to uh, Warrior Man. Well, I guess let's go talk to all the other merchants first. Okay, why the fuck do we have 7,840 gold? Uh, because I sold a wand. The wand of lightning? <laughs> yeah. Because I wanted, uh... I wanted the bag of holding, because we're down... I uh, Once again, we're down two people. Uh, we really the need the bag of holding. Inventory space. So what do I want more? 99 uses of lightning, which I'm probably not going to use anyway. Yeah, or... when you have 99 uses of magic missile. Yeah, when I have 99 uses of magic missile. And I think at my level... Actually, yeah, because of my level, because of the wand doesn't scale with level... The wand it's is just, just the wand. Uh, I think my magic missile actually might do more damage than the I'm wand would. Let me see. Around like a damn mule. Let's yeah, let me see real quick, actually. Warm beds. Well, I mean, if you don't care for the wands what about that uh wand of fear you have or the only yeah, thing what 64 plus six or the wand of freezing death i think we squeezed as much out of this uh, compared to can. what what's the lightning do uh 5d6 so on average i think yeah i think it's okay hold on 6d4 plus six versus 5d6 yeah um, so 5d6, 3.5 by 5, 15.5, 2.5, so lightning would do 17.5 versus magic missile, 64 plus 6, d4, 2.5 uh, by 6, 6 by 2, 12.5 by 6, 3, 12 plus 3, 15, add flat 6, 21. Yeah, magic missile actually does more. Yep. And it's, <laughs> and it's not safe for half, it's just, uh, no fuck, you get missiled. So it, it really does more. Uh, here, you can t you can talk to All this right. guy. I don't think there's gonna want be anything that you want to buy from him anyway right now. Oh, hello there. I didn't see you come in. What can I do for you? I'm voicing the dude. You gotta you gotta do your fucking dialogue options, David. Come on. Oh. Uh. Look, voice is hard work. Okay. Who I, are you? I put in more than zero effort. Of course, introductions. How rude of me. Sometimes I just get so wrapped up in my work. The name's Oswald. Oswald Fiddlebender. What is this place? A mistake? Why, this <laughs> yeah. ship is my home. At least it has been since I crashed you over a year ago. I know, I know, she's not much to look at, but someday I'll have her back in one piece and in the air once more. In the air? You mean this contraption can actually fly? <laughs> of course it can. Or at least it could once. You should have seen it. It was amazing. It was like sailing on a sea of clouds. She is my greatest invention yet, you know. Why would you build such a strange device? When you could just learn how to cast teleport. Yeah. The passes through the spine of the world are fraught with many dangers. The caravans that travel between the Southlands and the Ten Towns must brave not only the treacherous terrain, but all the nasty creatures that inhabit it as well. I simply sought to find an alternative route through the mountains. Or, in this case, to over them. So, how did you end up, end up in Kaldahar? Yes, well, that's a rather embarrassing story. You see, when I attempted the crossing on the airship's maiden voyage, I was the only one on board. I had a bit of <clears throat> trouble convincing anyone back in Brinchant to crew with me. Go on, I'm listening. Anyhow, I managed to get the ship airborne and was making excellent progress over the mountains. It really was a magnificent view. The billowing clouds, the snow cape peaks that shimmered like diamonds in the sunlight. I guess I was so enamored by the beauty of all that I didn't notice that outcropping of rock until it was too late. You hit the mountain. What next? Well, the collision ripped the bottom of the ship wide open. Just like your mother, the steering mechanism was badly damaged and the ship began to lose altitude. That's the part where you laugh, by the way. I tried desperately to keep it aloft, but down we came, falling from the sky like a stone. It is by sheer luck that I crashed here in the town of Goldhar. Lucky indeed. Tell me, what is it that you do here, then? I am an inventor of sorts. I make things. Things that are meant to improve the lives of others. Like this ship, for instance. I also dabble in alchemy. 
I'm an artificer. If artificer was allowed to be a class in this game. I, I'm an artificer <laughs> before it was a class. Would you care to sample some <laughs> of the potions I've concocted? Sure. What sort of potions do you have? I have all kinds. Currently, I'm working on a special brew for the farmers of Kaldahar. Something that will help protect the livestock from the bitter cold front that seems to have settled upon the valley. Several farmers were kind enough to donate... Donate some cows to serve as test subjects for my experiments. I see. Do you have any potions that we might find? <laughs> not even going to question the experimental cow potions or anything. We're just nah, going to, even yeah, though, you know. we're not PETA, man. This isn't a PETA patrol. Keep we're, in mind we're just that, here to... <laughs> you know, this town totally wasn't founded by an arc druid, but we're just going to kind of just ride over everyone's it, head it, He's trying one. to help the cows. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> by feeding them <laughs> suspicious liquids. <laughs> Most certainly. I'd be more than happy to supply you with whatever experiments potions you might need. At a fair price, of course. That has to make a living. Yeah, make sure, just make sure the ones that you have have already been tested, thanks. <laughs> huh. So he's just, uh... He's got potions. And a potion bag. Wait, is this his basement? Oh no, that's just the other side. There's just a cow. Got it. Just a cow? Just a cow? Ooh. No, it's a cow that moves. <laughs> and that is different than a regular cow in what capacity? It's cute. <laughs> Alright. Let's go back to, uh... So I take it this is, like, central hub dot town. Yes. Well, there's a couple of central hub places that we can go to where we can shop, but I think this is the one we come back to the most. So, do we still want the Wand of Fear you have and the Wand of Freezing Death you gave me? Or, like, the Wand of Lightning, is it a little superfluous? Uh, the Wand of Lightning was definitely superfluous. If, uh... The Wand of Fear, honestly, I I'm might sell at some point. I probably like should, mule. but... Depending on uh, how much the two of them are worth. If we yeah, can... I don't, the problem is I actually don't bother learning Fear because I, there's not a lot of situations that it's useful where a Fireball wouldn't Whatever be just as do. useful. It'll keep till morning. So it might Let's actually rest. be a well, good idea to hold on to it just I because of that. Well, when you're six times the expected can. level, yeah, Fireball's damage scaling is just going to make it better. But, you know, maybe when we're higher up and you're not as over-leveled, Fear might have some use just because of its effect. No, I mean even even when I what not over-leveled Fireball or something else is just better because it's a combat spell right so it's like okay am i going to cast fear or am i going to cast you know death this high level damage spell yeah you know david sometimes i think you just want to watch the world burn and that's all there is to it the love of black bears 10 uh, percent of all this is what that's a weird spell the evil spider crusher of doom. I gotta admit, I do like this. <laughs> I might come back for this. <laughs> wow. Find something? Uh... All right, well, we have 7,000 gold, <laughs> so uh, we can buy your plate. Understood. Um, we could also buy... The composite longbow is 2,800 gold. Um, uh, I can't talk to him and actually see what he's got here yeah here i'll just let, let me you here let me look, look at the let me look at the damage for the wand of freezing death and see if like there's even a point or if your spells just kind of neg it well no there are situ there are definitely situations where I'm having uh, around like a damn mule. where Let's somebody like some either beds. your you know the black swordsman 
wouldn't be able to go into melee where instead he could use that wand or the for ranger for we'll whatever reason I mean, his I arrows missed. aren't working where the spell would i think we've squeezed as much out of this day as we can hmm. i guess i'd kind of rather just have a better thing that will make it work in the first place because like if we find an enemy where arrows don't work like what if we just had a magic bow and then it just worked or something you know what if we just had a magic sword and then it just worked? I mean, I don't know that that's necessarily exactly the case, but I don't know how many enemies how many enemies are there really going to be where it's like, yeah, hitting it doesn't work. I don't know. Not a lot, but enough that it's annoying. <laughs> You're annoying. Mm. Yes, I am. Indeed. <laughs> Got you there. Uh, let's see. Um... Huh. I Discord would like to interrupt my daily gaming session to let me know that Pizza Hut Taiwan has unveiled durian mango cheese pizza. God, that is cursed. That is so cursed. Tomb Sweeper, play a Morning Star, Reliance Dagger. Daisy's a crossbow. Okay, so that's Thacko 5 damage 3 versus the black bow, which is Thacko 4 damage 3. So what's the point of ever using the black bow over Daisy when the black bow plus 3 is Thacko 4 damage 3 speed factor 4, but Daisy is Thacko 5... Oh wait, is it... Oh no, so yeah, Thacko 4 damage 3 versus Thacko 5 damage 3, and then speed factor 4 either way. Seems I'm a little trotting around strange like a damn to have mule. both as an option. And some warm beds. I mean, Daisy costs more, yes, but it's like roughly 8,000 gold more when you're already spending Whatever over 40,000. It just seems morning. kind of odd Let's rest. to have... I Both. think we've squeezed as much out of this day as we can. I don't know. It just seems weird, like there must be some other reason. Maybe crossbows have a limit on how many times they can fire because you have to, like, reload them or something. I don't know if loading mechanics are a thing in this game, and that gives bows an advantage. I could have sworn I heard somewhere that bows were better, but looking at these two... It's strange. <laughs> Bless you. It's kind of strange to think that, but that might also just be because this is an isolated instance where th this happens to be different, or again, it's just some weird like attack limit or some other thing that I'm not aware of that changes that. I'm gonna see what all the things they've got available are. This looks to me like. Pikeman's End, I think, might be the only two-handed sword. While you are doing this, I am going to send uh, my wizard on a task. Uh, I think I'm about done looking at the stuff, but you can go do that if you want. Um, yeah, so it looks like there's only one weapon the the Black Swordsman wants, and that's Pikeman's End, because that's the only two-handed sword, so... That one's pretty straightforward. Um, not that we can afford that, obviously, but you know. And I... Oh, dialogue. And I guess Terry Crews could go for I'm either the black bow or Daisy. Like damn mule. Daisy looks Let's like it should be better, but again, I beds. thought I heard bows were better, so I don't I don't know. I don't really know why. So maybe there's some other reason for that. Um, but they're Whatever both we have to do, so it'll out keep of range. Morning. Let's rest. Yeah. Uh, I well, I mean, yeah, so out of the stuff that we actually can buy, is there anything that you want? You're given a shopping li limit. Um, I don't know how much some of this stuff is with your way higher charisma. 
Um, the plus one plate is obviously just better than the regular plate. Um, if we can afford it, the Helm of the Trusted Defender is actually also... No, we can't. No? Not quite. Yeah. Okay. Um, I... We can't afford plus one plate and plus one composite bow, can we? No, we can't. It'd probably be better to get the bow, honestly. And just kill them? <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, I guess... Well, we can probably do composite longbow plus one and regular plate. Yeah. Okay, um, I guess we'll do that then. All right. I'm just trying to kind of squeeze the most out of our stuff, because dying bad. And we definitely don't have a track record of that happening. Dying bad indeed. Have wiser words ever been spoken? Oh, all right. Or maybe I just won't hit the purchase button. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you said you'd like to purchase some weapons, not I am purchasing some weapons. There we go. All right. Bow. Plate. You know what, actually? How much? Yeah, uh, you know, hmm. we have the money. Looking at something? Yeah, I think uh, I think I'm just gonna buy plate for the cleric and make it so that she can actually just tank. Yeah. Wait, did he? Was he selling more than one suit of plate? Yeah. Oh. All right. So, uh, oh man, that even looks cool. I mean, his splint looked cool too, but the plate also—I don't know. The splint actually has more color to it. Whatever we have to do, it'll keep. But whatever, the plate's better. Yeah, just a reminder: this is a 20-year-old game, and they actually changed the models a little bit. Yeah, which is like really that. cool. I just, I just, I uh -huh. hate, I hate the fact that the splint armor looks cooler than the plate because I can see more of the color. The plate armor is just armor. Granted, as armor, the plate armor looks dope as shit. But the splint has color to it. I like both, just for different reasons. Um, the plate gave the Black Swordsman one better armor class. So that's cool. And for Terry Cruiser, his Thacko went from 7 to 6, and damage range of 7 to 12 went to 8 to 13. So plus one to both, as expected. Um, I am going to hand Drogo the old armor and the old bow, as I we super don't need them. So it might as well yep. get whatever coin we can from it. Basically nothing, but better than nothing. Better than actually nothing. All right, well, let's sleep, and then let's go kill some stuff, because... Uh, we, we are playing a game with the intent of murder. That's true. Yeah, we do. It Agreed. would be... It would be mainly because we've us. been in town for two hours and haven't killed anything. <laughs> have we really been here for two hours? Yeah, we have been here for two hours. In fact, we've been here for longer than two hours. Oh, uh, you're looking for a room, or you just want to let the chill in? I got no rooms for stragglers. Show us some coin, or I'll show you the door. Who are you? I'm Aldwin. Maybe you're having your hay head way up there. Don't make you hear so good. Do you want a room or not? My inn's the only inn in town, so don't even be thinking you'll find a better deal somewhere else. Now, this is important. There's a there's a little hint here. We were told that the innkeeper was uh, was missing. Uh, hmm. So this is your inn. Yeah. Why? Someone in town saying different? Oh, wait. We, oh, I think we need to go talk to more people. Do you have any rooms for you? Yeah, we got a little bit of space left. Very well. We'll see what you have. I guess we'll have to come back sometime. And tell them. Well, since we sold uh, the the nice wand, we'll, we'll spring for the noble room today. Just just today. Oh, I can't do that. Never mind. I won't do that because I can't. Got it. I lied. Uh... Noble, then? 
my yeah let's celebrate for se selling a wand worth 15k <laughs> I feel like we could have spent that like money damn better mule. somehow. Let's find it. But I guess the bag of holding. No, we could The bag of holding big. It'll be worth big. so much in the long term. Yeah. These rooms are of excellent quality at a somewhat reasonable price, and a definite luxury for those accustomed to sleeping under an open sky. None but I the most pampered dandy would have complaints with these accommodations. Oops. I didn't mean to skip past the cutscene. Oh crap. <laughs> <laughs> ah well uh you know uh, just uh, uh but a hint a taste we are only staying oh, uh, one night after all all right i mean that. i guess we can go upstairs and see what else is there all right i mean i noticed that, that has a distinct good. lack of killing involved but yeah we can do that oh this is a this is a useful uh case right here this is a good place to come to make your uh, main throwing shit that you don't need now, but you might lead later area. Same for this uh, do one. We have an, do we have an ability to pick that lock? No. Oh. Our thief died so. and we got someone useful instead. That's right, I remember now. Agreed. All right, well, I think that's about as good a time as any to end this episode off with no combat i almost said actual gameplay but you know this is technically gameplay <laughs> so we're gonna go uh either play more or not play more i don't know i can't see the future immediately i can later on when looking back in the past and be like samurai jack <laughs> anyways i uh, thanks for watching dave say bye bye